Hi! Welcome to this demo for SageMaker Canvas Generative AI. Today, I will show you how to use Amazon SageMaker Canvas to fine-tune a large language model without writing a single line of code. Then, we will compare how this fine-tuned model performs with respect to the default model. Let's get started! With Amazon SageMaker Canvas ready-to-use models, you can make predictions on your data without writing a single line of code or having to build a model. All you have to do is bring your data, and then you're ready to generate predictions. The ready-to-use models use pre-built models to generate predictions without requiring you to spend the time, expertise, or cost required to build a model, and you can choose from a variety of use cases ranging from computer vision to intelligent document processing, from language detection to expense analysis. To achieve these tasks, Canvas integrates with existing AWS services, such as Amazon TextTrack, Amazon Recognition, and Amazon Comprehend. Amazon SageMaker Canvas provides generative AI foundation models that you can use to start conversational chats. You can use this capability to increase your everyday productivity. Generative AI can help you with generating novel content, such as document outlines, reports, and blogs, summarize text from large corpuses of text, such as earnings call transcripts, annual reports or chapters of user manuals extract insights and key takeaways from large passages of text, such as meeting notes or narratives to improve text and catch grammatical errors or typos. As you can see in the slide, our customers can use Canvas generative AI models to extract and query information from documents indexed in a knowledge base. You might have already heard about this architectural pattern before, as it is known as Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG for short. Of course, the Canvas application runs in your own AWS account, in your own VPC, and data is encrypted with your own KMS. This means that data is always yours, secure, and never used to improve any service or any model. A separate video on how to use Canvas for no-code RAG will come soon, so stay tuned for that. The foundation models that power Canvas generative AI capabilities come from both Amazon Bedrock and Amazon SageMaker Jumpstart large language models. We've recently introduced new models in the roster, so you definitely want to check those out. However, what happens when a model doesn't perform as we wish it would? Or what if we want to use very specific output formats or data points when generating answers? For that, we're introducing no-code fine-tuning of large language models in SageMaker Canvas. By providing an instruction dataset, composed of prompt completion pairs, we can select one or more foundation models to fine-tune. No coding required. This process is powered by AWS AutoML technology, and it uses state-of-the-art technology for efficient fine-tuning and data distribution, while at the same time leveraging the full power of the cloud to tune multiple models in parallel. In the UI, users can select the input column, which contains the prompt, the output column, which contains the expected completion. Optionally, users can configure how the fine-tuning process happens, changing the default hyperparameters. Once that's done, one click is all it takes to launch the fine-tuning process. Once the models are trained, Canvas brings up the most relevant metrics for the best model. This can be used to evaluate the best model, such as training and validation perplexity, training and validation loss. Canvas also plots the perplexity curve and the loss curve to provide you with a visual representation of the training progress. If you have selected multiple models during the model selection phase, you will be able to see every model performance in the model leaderboard. If you prefer another model other than the default one, then you can switch to that one and use it for deployments and evaluation workflows. That's enough slides for today, let's go into the demo. Our journey starts with the Canvas ready to use model for generative AI. For this use case, we will use a synthetic dataset to simulate the work of a financial advisor, suggested which funds to invest on, given a specific customer profile. Note that we at AWS do not take any responsibility for financial investments, nor we provide financial guidance in any form. We'll go ahead and ask a question to the foundation model of choice, in this case Titan Express. We ask the model to provide us a recommendation for financial investment for a 38 years old married couple that is looking to retire comfortably and support clean energy with medium risk profile. 
While the answer can be considered plausible, it does not look correct to us, or at least not in the format that we would like, maybe even too generic. To solve this problem, we will fine-tune the model. To start fine-tuning the model, click on the wrench icon on the top right of your chat interface. Give the model a new name, such as Custom Finance Recommender. Then, create a new Canvas dataset and give it a name. In the example, we have a CSV file ready for the job, which we will upload from local storage. Canvas requires the dataset to be in CSV format with at least two columns, one which contains the prompt or instruction and one which contains the completion expected by the model. Note that you can also use more than 50 other sources, including Amazon S3 and Amazon Document DB. Once the dataset is loaded in memory, it's time to choose the models to fine tune. In the drop down menu, you can choose proprietary and partner models from Amazon Bedrock, as well as open source models from SageMaker Jumpstart. Then, select the input column which contains the prompt and the output column which contains the completion. Optionally, configure the parameters associated to the fine tuning of each model. You can also set up parameters like train validation split and the maximum runtime for the auto ML fine tuning job. Once that's done, click on the fine tune button and the auto ML process will kick off. The duration of this process may vary according to the models you have chosen, as well as your dataset size. Most commonly, fine tuning of one or two models can range from two to five hours. However, more models or bigger dataset might make your fine tuning job last longer than this. Once the model is trained, you now have access to all information and artifacts generated by the auto ML process. In the top part of your screen, Canvas shows the metrics associated to the best model, training and validation perplexity, training and validation loss. Lower values indicate better performances. For more detailed information of the training process, you can analyze the perplexity and loss curves. As a general rule of thumb, the curves should decrease over time, and they should not show any sudden spikes. More metrics and artifacts associated to the training job are available in the Advanced Metrics tab. If you want to check out the other models that were trained during the Auto ML job, click on the Model Leaderboard button. The Model Leaderboard contains all information and metrics associated to all models that were fine-tuned, and you can deploy and test any of these by clicking on the Test in Canvas chat button. Testing the model means deploying it on an endpoint, an operation which usually takes between 15 and 30 minutes. Note that the deployed endpoint will make you incur in hourly costs. SageMaker Canvas will take care of automatically shutting down the idle endpoints after two hours of inactivity. This way you don't have to worry about forgetting it running in your AWS account and incurring in unexpected costs. Once the model is deployed, you can use it in the Canvas chat interface. Make sure to select the model you fine-tuned, here called Financial Portfolio. Optionally, you can compare this model against the default version of the model in the same interface. As you can see, the fine-tuned model now generates the results in the format that we expect. Go ahead and test new inputs with the new model. Once you're done, remember to delete the endpoint or wait until the endpoint inactivity timeout is reached. Thanks for watching. See you next time.